Well, hello there, everybody. It is Monday. It is time for another brand new installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. My name is Tom Rigsby, the unashamed nonconformist and your host for about the next 7 minutes or so. And today I want to ask you a question. Have you ever stolen second base? Or now we just go with second base. That's the analogy I'm going to use. That's our topic for today, stealing second If that doesn't make sense to you, that's okay. It will in just a minute. But before we get to the making sense part of it, uh, actually, let me do that. Pow, look at that. So before we get to the making sense part of it, I'm going to ask you to do me a favor and do what Joe just did. Drop a comment down there and give it a little thumbs up. Say hi. Let me know that you're here watching, that you have a question. And I'm going to ask you if you've ever stolen second. Just leave that in the comments. Have you ever stolen a base? Play softball, baseball, kickball, little league, schoolyard, whatever. Actually, I should say stealing home, but stealing second comes from my quote today. So we're going to go with stealing second. So continuing the baseball analogy of success. Uh, and I was just looking here. My Braves are doing pretty well this year. They're in first place, 35 and 24. Right? So what's that? 9, uh, 39, 59. They played 59 games so far. 59 games and they've lost 24. So it's just, I just want you to think about that for just a minute. They've played 59 games and they've lost 24. And they're in first place. You don't have to win every day. It's nice if you can win every day. But if you don't, you can still be in first place. All right, now getting to uh, my quote of the day today. This one comes to us from Frederick Wilcox, and he says, progress, progress, remember, movement toward a goal. Progress always involves risk. You can't steal second base and keep your foot on first. Okay, that's it for the show today. No. I mean, that's that's such a great visual representation of what we have to do. We we have, I mean, we have to put ourselves out there. We have to take a chance. We have to accept that risk. There's there's a risk of getting out. There's a risk of losing the game, right? But I can still win the season. If I get put out, I get another at bat. I mean, it's not the end. Churchill said failure is not fatal and success is not final, right? And that's a far more eloquent way of saying what I say all the time is we get another, we get another bite at the apple. Very few things in life. Look, even court proceedings, Supreme Court might be final, but even court proceedings are not final can always appeal, right? So the, the, the point is this, right? If you have set a goal and you are serious about achieving the goal, don't be afraid to take your foot off of first. You got to go for it at some point. You got to jump in the deep end of the pool. You got to go all in whatever the metaphor is you want to use. You got to go for it because if you don't go for it, I can guarantee you one thing. You're never going to get it. Love my daughters. <laughs> Love all my kids. But my oldest daughter played softball. Uh, you probably heard this story before. When she one when she first started playing kid pitch, she started playing when she was a teeny tiny little thing. Now she's all grown up. But um she first started playing kid pitch, she got called out on strikes. And she came back over and said, why didn't you swing at the ball? She said, they weren't strikes. I'm like, well, the umpire thought they were. Called you out. So you, you, if you want to hit the ball, you have to swing the bat. And, and look, whether you want a home run and to win the game in one swing or you just want to get on first. I think it's Yogi Berra. His, his great line, my granddad taught this to me when I was but a wee lad myself. Get them on, get them over, and get them in. Three parts to play in baseball. Get on. You can't score if you don't get on base. Just worry about getting on. Don't try to hit a home run. I know 
That's not nearly as exciting, and that's not what I've been saying. All that hooey, right? You got to get on. Then you got to get over. Then you worry about getting in, right? So, so start. Get your foot off of first. Make progress towards second. Third and home will come after that. I hope that that is at least a little bit helpful. If you are struggling with getting your foot off of first, there's some encouragement for you. If you need more personalized one-on-one encouragement, send me a message. Don't put it in the comments. Just send me a message straight to me. I'll see it, and we'll talk. I'll give you that uh, personalized one-on-one encouragement you need to get off a high center, get your foot off of first, and start working your way around the bases. It is Monday. What are you going to do this week that's going to make it better than last week? Make that list. Start ticking it off. You've got a whole week. Get out there and knock them out of the park. I will be back again in the morning, 7 a.m. Central Time, with another seven minutes in the morning. Until then, you guys have a magnificent Monday. I'll talk to you tomorrow.